Hello and welcome! I found one of the biggest challenges for a PSP owner has always been to convert your own videos for the PSP. Unlike music or pictures, you can't just drag and drop a video onto a PSP and expect it to work. The video needs to be in a converted format that the PSP will accept. And today I'm going to show you how to convert a video for a PSP using an open source video converter called Handbrake. But first, a message from us at 16-bit. If you don't know what to do with your Game Boy, Game Boy Color, or Game Boy Advance games when you're done playing with them, why not check out our Game Boy Display shelves? They're designed and 3D printed by us to hold your games comfortably and display them beautifully. If you're interested, why not check out the description to figure out where to get them today. Before we can convert our videos, we need to download and install Handbrake. If you don't know what that is, Handbrake is an open source video transcoder available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. You can download it from the Handbrake website, and the site has all the documentation you will ever need in order to install the program on your machine. I will provide links below if you need them. But now that Handbrake is installed, it's time to launch the program. So to start, we need to set the profile to General Fast 1080p 30. This will give us a good baseline, and we'll only need to change a few items here and there. Now, the first tab we're going to look at is Summary, but here there really isn't anything that actually needs to be changed. Personally, I keep everything off because the video files that I'm typically converting are the ones I make myself and are known to be good. But now we're going to move over to the Dimensions tab, and here we're going to hit our first Roblox. A PSP cannot play back a video that has a resolution more than the PSP's native resolution of 480 pixels by 272 pixels. So in width, make sure it isn't more than 480, and in height, make sure it isn't more than 272. If it is, the video won't work. The rest of the settings affects just how the video looks and can all be changed without any worry. But if you want my advice in this setting, make sure you set anamorphic to none as it preserves the native aspect ratio for your video. And as a small note, when you do import a new video resolution, the dimensions can change to whatever you just imported. So if your video does fail for whatever reason, check the Dimensions tab first and there's a good chance that this is probably your problem. Fortunately, this is the only tab where importing a new video will change your current settings. With that out of the way, we should now be moving on to filters. And since everything here just affects how the video looks, there really isn't anything that actually needs to be touched. Again, personally, I keep everything off. But now we move on to the videos tabs, and here every option is critical. One mistake and it won't play on the PSP. The first thing we have to ensure is that the video codec is set to H.264. Everything else will fail, including 10-bit H.264. In the frame rates, we actually don't have to worry about it, since the PSP can play back a variety of frame rates, including 120 frames a second but anything above 60 frames a second will not be noticeable. Personally, I keep mine at 30. In the optimization video, we have to set the encoder preset to anything between ultra fast to medium. The closer it gets to medium, the more likely it is that the video will just fail or not be recognized. I personally keep mine at fast since it gives me the most stable and reliable results. An encoder tune, you can set it to more or less anything, and if the video somehow doesn't work on your PSP, just drop the encoder preset down one level. I had issues with animation at medium, and for some reason, if I dropped it down the fast, it started working again. So it's sort of a tinker between encoder tune and preset. The next setting we have to change is the encoder profile and the encoder level, and here we have to be careful. The PSP can only support two encoder profiles, baseline and main, and depending on which profile you select will determine which encoder levels you can choose. 
If you choose the main profile, you can only support the encoder levels of 1, 1.1, and 1B. And from my testing, 1B gives the best results. If you choose the baseline, on the other hand, it actually can support all encoder levels. And the higher the level is, the better the video quality is, with a negligible difference between 2 and 5. I personally set my encoder profile to baseline and set the encoder level to automatic. And if the video starts having issues, I drop the encoder level down to somewhere in the twos. And finally, you can set whatever quality you want, more or less. I haven't encountered any problems yet, but if you do, just drop the settings down a little bit. I personally just keep mine at default. There are only two tabs left, and the music tab is next. Because of our preset, there isn't really anything that we need to change here. The PSP only supports AAC audio. So you can leave everything as is, but the PSP can support a higher bitrate than default. At the default bitrate, audio sounds pretty good, especially if there's a lot of talking, but if there's any form of musical score, like in Star Wars, the soundtrack gets distorted in the conversion, and it sounds terrible. Personally, I like to push the limits of the bitrate and work my way down until I get a stable video. The highest I was able to get mine to was about 320, but one below that should probably be the most stable. And if you want to keep the changes like I do, you'll need to click on section behavior first, then select the changes you want, or else, much like with dimensions, it will reset every time you load in a new video. As for the rest of the settings, you can change it as is. If you want mono audio, have mono, but the PSP can support stereo. And finally, we have the subtitles tab. Here the defaults are more than enough, but if you want or need subtitles, you can burn them onto the video, as for some reason, Handbrake cannot export a subtitle format that is usable by the PSP. Just turn off Force, turn on Burn In, and you will end up with video with burned in subtitles. So congratulations! Handbrake is now ready to convert videos for the PSP. Just set the output location in the file below and don't worry about the whole M4V MP4 thing. Both file formats can be used by the PSP. After you've done that, press the big green button and wait for your file to complete converting. While you're waiting, do not forget to save your presets, so that way you can access again later if you want to convert more videos. Now that your file is ready, just drag it into the videos folder on the root of your PSP, and now you can watch all the content that you want, as long as it can actually fit onto your PSP. So, that's how you convert your videos for your PSP. If you want to tinker with the video settings a little more, the spreadsheet I mentioned at the beginning of the video will be a great starting point for it. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you felt it helped. And if you want, why not check out some more content from us. But as always, thank you ever so much for watching. Have yourself a good day and take care.